I'm Bailey from She Styles. I'm a hairstylist and I love doing hair. I specialize in bridal hair and makeup and I love doing everything hair. It's definitely my passion. Cutting, coloring, extensions, all of it's just awesome. <laughs> and I'm Kaylee. I'm the owner of Kate's Wig Shop in Ogden, Utah. We help anybody who is in the need for a wig or topper. We decided to team up to work and give back to our community. Here in Ogden, I felt like it was important that we educate hairstylists on how to donate hair. And there's a lot of children that could use your donation. So the foundation that we um, are working with is called Children with Hair Loss. And they donate a wig to a child who is in need every year. Who doesn't want to help a child in need, honestly? My favorite thing about this donation company is that you can donate colored or processed hair. Um, which usually those donations go to waste, so I love that those donations are getting used and helping kids. Okay, we're going to show you a few simple steps that you're going to want to follow to know how to donate hair. Alright, so here's this first step. First you're going to want to brush through the hair, make sure it's nice and tangle free. Then you're going to part it in half, thirds, fourths, however you feel that you can cut through. You don't want the sections to be too thick. So we're gonna cut Dan's hair in two ponytails. Here's how you're gonna start. Putting a ponytail up to the top, about where you want to cut. Just a tiny bit below. He wants it to be by his earlobe. And then we're gonna add a few more elastics. This just helps the hair to stay nice and tangle free when it's being shipped. Okay, so you wanna have eight inches or longer of a hair donation. So we measured Dan's and about to his earlobe is 10 inches. You want to have clean, dry hair and we're rubber banding all the way to the end. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So all hair is good as long as it's not super damaged hair. So gray hair, colored hair, processed hair, we'll take it all as long as you think that it's in good condition. Are you ready? Let's see what our official reveal is for our donation. 10 inches exactly. Awesome. So we're going to um, show you the easy step process of how to get this to children with hair loss so that we can make sure this actually gets into a wig for a child. All right. So what you're going to need is an envelope, some stamps, and obviously your hair. First, insert your hair into a Ziploc bag. This keeps it protected and dry. Next, fill out the envelope. This is the correct address. Once you've filled out the address, place the correct postage or three stamps for each hair donation. Then you'll insert your hair into your envelope and get your donation form from childrenwithhairloss.us. This donation form provides a certificate proving your donation. Insert that into the envelope, seal it off, and voila. All right, we just want to thank you from 